Okay, now we'll go through the RJ31X. There it is. You can see I've labeled it here with my Sharpie to make it simple. It's an eight conductor RJ45 scheme, basically. There's the inside, there are eight pins. However, we only use four of the pins and four of the conductors related to those four pins. We use number one, number four, number five, and number eight. Okay, and if you count those, number one actually is the one on the lower left and eight is on the lower right. Okay, and you can see if you, if you check that with a mod plug correctly how we teach that, that is the case. If you were to put a continuity checker on that inside first most pin on the left there and then touch it to this terminal, number one, your continuity checker would beep and light up on you. So that's number one. And if you put your continuity checker on the furthest pin to the right, then over to this terminal number eight, it would light up and indicate that those touch and the same with four and five. So in this, we're going to, I want to show you particularly, do you see these little pins sticking up right there? Those happen to align perfectly with one, four, five, and eight. They actually are pins one, four, five, and eight. They're an extension of those pins right there, one, four, five, and eight, and they come up here. And what they do is they sit up against that bridging bar or that shorting bar. You can see the shorting bar right here. It's split. So it's not making, con the shorting bar on the right is not making contact with the shorting bar on the left. You can see it split there. And there you can see how pin one is actually in contact with pin four and how pin eight is actually in contact with pin five right there. It shows you, there it is right there, those pins are making contact with those two shorting bars right there. Now, what that does is that creates a situation where if you plug a device into this, your routing goes like we taught. But if you don't plug a device into this, it stays just like this which causes whatever you have connected to pin five to go out on pin eight. And whatever you have connected to pin four, go out on pin one. Because remember, we come in with our dial tone on four and five, and we go out to our, our uh, device, let's say a telephone or a fax machine, or a CO line for a phone system on pins one and eight. So with nothing plugged into that, Pins four and one are continuous, and pins five and eight are continuous. In other words, if you tested, if you touched pin five and pin eight, they would set your light off on your continuity tester. Same with pin four and pin one. Same with terminal one and terminal four terminal eight and terminal five. So those are all making contact. And with nothing plugged in, this works great. Dial tone in on four and five, out on one and eight, and nothing's affected otherwise. Your phone works and it's got dial tone. Now, when you plug something into this, that's when it gets interesting.